is happening YouTube. Rod J here to take a look at another beer. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video. I'm going to take a look at one out of Connecticut. This comes from Evil Twin Brewing. This is their Ashtray Heart. It is a smoked porter. Comes in at 8.9% ABV. Did not have the IBU listed here, so I don't have that information. Um, big fan of porters. Heard a lot about Evil Twin. Haven't had as many of their beers, but I'm um, looking forward to trying this one. And then there's some other ones I also have that I'll be bringing through here in the next few videos that I'll be trying out as well. So let's go ahead and get this baby open and get it into a glass. So there we go. We get it into the glass. Pours out. Pretty not decent looking porter. The head itself, real dark tan head. Nice creaminess to it. It's good bubble action there. The color itself is very, very dark brown. Almost to the level of being a jet black. No light was actually getting through on this one. Cannot even make out any of the carbonation or any of the bubbles. But does have that look that you would expect to have on a porter. Very nice indeed. As far as the aroma, wow. Got some big notes of chocolate coming out of here. You do get a sense of the smokiness coming out. I mean, a good amount of smokiness. That's really um, pretty decent. You also get some of that little bit of a coffee in the background that you usually have with the porter as well. On the bottle, it's described as amazingly rich, seductively dark, and smoking good. Yes, a real heartbreaker. We recommend only the truly skillful heavyweight beer champions to battle this awfully irresistible smoke style. Now, on most porters, you have a little bit more of a, a sweetness on it. This one, I mean, it really is the smokiness that comes out. It almost gives me the impression of standing next to a grill or a hot flame, like on a, something of a smoker type thing. It, it really does have a pretty dominant smokiness, almost like a barbecue type aroma. That's how smoky it is. Wow, I really like that. I'm going to get a taste. Nice mouthfeel. Smoking this really opens up inside the mouth. It's almost got that that char taste you would have on barbecue. The body itself is it sits nicely as a full body beer, but it's not overpowering. No astring no astringency at all. No bitterness really. It's pretty just smooth, very pleasurable to the palate. If this has any the IBU level on this has to be very low, maybe in the teens, if that. You do pick up a little bit of that sense of the chocolate and the taste, but whatever they did to really put that smokiness on, they did it very nicely. Wow. I mean, this is one that you can really sit back and relax and just chill with. No need, me to, no need for me to say it, but obviously this would be another good one that would be a uh, cigar type beer. I would love to actually have this with some barbecue preferably some carolina barbecue i think this would actually go together nicely playing off the flavoring from the meats it does have a little bit of a chewiness within the texture but outside of that just plays off very nice duration is very long i mean those flavors are sticking with me just lasting you can sit there and really sit back and enjoy it it's almost having like a cigar where you take that puff you let it swirl around before you blow back out and those flavors stick with you. That's just how this beer is actually doing the same type of thing. Yeah, that's very nice. Let's check what some of the ratings are on this one. Well, if you look at Untapped, they actually have an average of 3.7 uh, bottle caps. On Beer Advocate, it came out to be 86 very good from the ratings they had. And on Rate Beer, they actually have a 97 overall with a 98 for style. Um, also, I didn't mention, but it, it talks about the best glasses to try to use are dimpled mug, lager glass, or also a stein. The glass I'm actually using is more of a tulip type glass, but it is designed for porters and stouts. I really dig this beer. I dig the uniqueness and that they went for something and actually achieved it. Um, it's everything I thought it was going to be and that much better. So for me, I'm going to actually give this one an A+. I think if you're a Porter fan um, and you like things like smoked meats or use, if you do smoke a cigar or possibly even if you smoke cigarettes, if you like any of that type of smokiness type things, I think this is actually one 
that you really like a lot. I think it's a uh, this is it's a pretty nice pretty nice beer put together by uh, Evil Twin. Definitely. So A plus is what I give on this one. Again, this is Evil Twin Brewing Ashtray Heart. If you've had this one before, let me know what you think. Put some comments in the comments section. Love to hear your feedback on it as well. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to actually trying some more of their beers now that I have downstairs. Well, thanks again for swinging by. Check out another video. Hopefully you like what you saw. If you did, please remember to hit that like button. And of course, if you want to stay up to speed on other videos, make sure you also hit that subscribe button. So that way you'll see them as I upload those, usually on a daily basis. Well, I'm going to go back and finish enjoying this one. Thanks again for swinging by. and look forward to catching you in another video. With this, I'll say cheers. Mm -hmm.